Welcome back to another episode of Why Modern Society is Doomed. On today's episode, we got somebody a lot of people are familiar with who goes by the name Mia Khalifa. Now, Mia Khalifa is in the marriage counseling game. Yeah, you heard it right. Marriage counseling game. You just watched the video for yourself. Oh, we're comparing stats. Baby girl doesn't know that I am Tom Brady at this game. Married at 18, divorced at 21. Second marriage. Married at 25, divorced at 28. Third engagement. Engaged at 29, ended it at 30, but I kept the ring. I'm still keeping Tom Brady on his toes. We should not be afraid to leave these men. We are not stuck with these people. Marriage is not a sanctimonious thing. It is it is paperwork. It's something it's 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 a commitment you make to someone. But if you feel like you're not getting anything from that commitment and you're trying, you got to go. You got to go. You have to go. I know it's difficult to fill out paperwork and to make appointments and to do all of these things, but this is your fucking life. Do you want to be stuck with someone? It's period. Do you want to be stuck with someone? Now, Mia Khalifa has successfully managed to parlay being one of the most famous corn star on the planet for a brief time years ago into being a popular influencer. However, she apparently seems to think that the fact that she's been married and divorced multiple times with another field engagement in the mix makes her an expert on relationships. To me, that wasn't even the worst part of the video. While talking to her followers in that video, she compared her failed relationships and marriages to Tom Brady's rank count. Like really? That's what we're doing now? So the question everybody's asking on social media right now is, why would anybody take advice from Mia Khalifa? Somebody tweeted, self-awareness of people has just declined a lot. Firstly, asking a corn star who's filming videos of her doing the act in the hijab what are you trying to get out of it? Secondly, if three separate marriages on three separate occasions has failed, maybe, just maybe, you are the problem, Mia. Somebody also said, any woman who takes advice from a corn star has a negative IQ at this point. It's like getting advice on how to be a good law-abiding citizen from El Chapo. Another person also said, this is how women end up alone with cats. Taking advice from this woman is equivalent to visiting the Titanic in an untested can. You will be crushed. Marriage is good, hard work, and constant effort on all levels by both persons. Do better. Somebody also said, yes, I want to be stuck with someone for a lifetime. Girl, we're not the same, because you belong to the street, and I'll go to the kitchen for him. I will put the future meme after this. She belongs to the streets. Somebody also said, never, never marry a woman that views marriage this way. Marriage is for life, good times and bad times. Unless both people are prepared to stay married no matter what, don't get married after all. Another person also said, two things can be true at once. One, Mia Khalifa is gorgeous and hot. This is true. Is she wrong about marriage? Hell yes. Someone who treats marriage like a credit card debt is not someone I will be taking seriously. Plus, corn stars, so not many men will want to marry that too. Another person also said, women are gullible enough to fall for this too. In a marriage, you are going to be disappointed. So just because you are disappointed and not getting what you want at the time as a woman, then that's a bound for her to leave the marriage. Another person also said, oh yeah, I wasn't just feeling it, so I left him is the most selfish thing you can do to another person. If you are not mature enough to get married, to make vows to another person, and stay with them when it gets boring or hard, then just don't. It's really that easy. And I'm going to end with this. This person said, keep your sons and daughters away from these people. Marriage is a commitment, and it's less about a commitment you make to your spouse, but more about a covenant you make with God. Your marriage is about biblical obedience to God, not your feelings. So yeah, it goes on and on and on. And you can see a lot of people are surprised by this. And rightfully so. Because why would anybody in their right mind take this kind of advice coming from this person? I'm not saying this person is bad, but let's all be reasonable here. This advice is terrible. And if you disagree with it, cool. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. I wish I could tell y'all what's on my mind right now. What y'all gonna think of me?